How do you know if it's the right countertop for you? Well, you ask it. Are you the right countertop for me? <laughs> I don't think Lusoro is it. It said no. weeks since I showed you guys our garden and I wanted to give you an update on how things are going. As you can see behind me here, it is doing wonderfully. We have so many plants coming in. We have cherry tomatoes, we have cilantro, we have sweet peppers, we have arugula, we have a bunch of different types of lettuces and they are just thriving and doing so well. I love this garden so much because it has its own lighting schedule. It waters itself, kind of just takes care of itself. So while I am doing all of my DIYs, we still have all these plants just kind of taking care of themselves and growing. It has just been so easy, so wonderful. I just want to give you guys a little update on it. I can't wait for Mark and I to do a harvest from it, which I think will be really soon at the rate of all these plants growing. So I will keep you guys posted on that as well. Just want to give you a little update. Thank you to Garden for sponsoring today's video. You can use code HOMESTEAD for $100 off your order. I will leave a link in the description below. countertop shopping today for our project house that we have been working on. If you guys have been keeping up with the series, we have been doing a major renovation, a full house renovation for a rental property that Mark's parents own. And today we are shopping for countertops, which is always an exciting day. Very exciting. We just got to Arizona Tile. This may be our first and only stop for the day. I don't know. We're going to see what we can find. But we thought while we were in there, we could um, give you guys some of the knowledge that we know about countertops. And so you guys can learn a thing or two because there is a lot to learn. And I know oh, this man. can be like different intimidating. Different heat ratings, different hardnesses, different porous type feelings. So yeah, you may have to seal ones versus not seal other ones. And you can't cut ones at 45s they have to be glued together in a specific <laughs> right. way mark is making it sound way more complicated than it actually is but operating temperature has to be exactly 75 <laughs> oh my degrees gosh okay fahrenheit let's go in <laughs> let's see what we can find Quartzite is a natural stone that forms when sandstone undergoes high heat and pressure within the earth's crust. It is a dense and durable material with a similar look to marble but with better resistant to scratches and heat. Quartzite countertops come in a range of colors and patterns from subtle to more dramatic veining. They require sealing to protect against stains and they should be treated with care to maintain their appearance. Quartz countertops are engineered stone surfaces made by combining natural quartz crystals with resin and pigments. They offer a vast array of colors, patterns, and finishes. Quartz countertops are highly durable, non-porous, and resistant to scratches and stains. They are also minimal maintenance as they do not need sealing like a natural stone. And quartz countertops are known for their consistency in color and pattern, making them a really popular choice for those seeking uniformity in their design. Granite is a natural stone that offers durability and timeless beauty. It's available in a wide range of colors and patterns, making each slab super unique. Granite is heat resistant, scratch resistant, and relatively easy to maintain. However, it does require periodic sealing to protect against stains and can be an expensive option. Marble is one of my all-time favorite countertops simply because I just think it's so luxurious and elegant looking. It's known for its unique veining and classic beauty. It comes in various colors and is often prized for its smooth and cool surface. However, marble is a softer and more porous stone compared to granite or quartzite, making it more susceptible to scratches, stains, and etching from acidic substances. It requires regular sealing and diligent maintenance to preserve its pristine appearance. Marble countertops are often favored for their timeless aesthetic, but they may be better suited for areas with a lighter use or for those who appreciate the patina that develops over time. We made some progress in there for sure. We, I think oh, I have yeah. the countertops picked out for the kitchen, which would be so amazing. You even got a little sample of it, right? Yeah, it's on you the did? floor back. Okay, cool. So um, the one that I loved the most was the silver stallion. I first saw it in the smaller slab and then when I saw it in the bigger slab, I was like, oh, I love that and then I saw it again and I was like, I love it again and it was the same thing. So usually that's my gut check of how I know I really love something. So when I see it twice in two different spots and, and I love, you it, love it twice in a row. Yeah. 
without knowing the name of it. <laughs> That's how I know. Anyway, we're gonna run over to Bed Rosians really quick because I love me some Bed Rosians and we're gonna see what we can find over there. I just have to do one more little swoop of like, is there anything else that I love more? That's just how I am. We are going with quartz for this house because it's so durable and with it being a rental property, um, we wanna put something that is durable in it and but it's yet something high that, quality. but high quality yeah. and something that doesn't require a lot of maintenance. So it would be like so annoying to have to go into like your renter's house and have to seal the countertops like yearly. You know, yeah. that would just be kind of a weird thing. So it's what's nice about quartz is you don't have to seal it. Um, it's usually sealed for life. Really the only thing that is a drawback about quartz is that you can't put anything hot on it. So you can't put a hot pan like right on top of it. But I would much rather not be able to put a hot pan on my countertops than have to seal it every single year and have all this additional maintenance. So um, quartz is wonderful. I feel like that's an industry standard nowadays. I feel like granite used to be the industry standard and then quartz came out and then cords like took the lead, you know? Yeah. Um, I would love to do marble, everything. We're headed to bed Russian, so it's telling us directions. Um, anyway, I would love to do marble, but it's so much maintenance and more expensive, whereas quartz is, you know, right there in the middle of great for durability, also not super crazy expensive. So that's what we're looking for. be in bed Rosians so fast they only had like 10 minutes before they closed and I hate doing that to people but I was like I promise I know exactly what I'm looking for I will only be a minute so it was really great because she was able to give me a couple samples of the slabs that I liked in there and look how cute these little like samples are I love that but what I love about this is that I can still at least kind of compare the tones. This, I did get a sample from Arizona Tile as well. This was the one that was my favorite. This was the Silver Stallion by Delaterra. Um, and then these ones are by Rivera. Um, but anyway, what I can do now is kind of compare the tones of the countertops because I really wanted something that was a little bit more on the tan gray side and not so much on the white side because we are doing white countertops and I want this house to be like a really warm feeling. We just got to our fabricator's place. Um, he has a slab yard here, like a bone yard um, that we can look through and so now I'm gonna look for some countertops for the bathrooms and for the laundry room and at least now I have kind of my tones down this tone that I can compare to the other slabs so that I can make sure everything is cohesive and is going to look really nice together and um, you know make the house a whole vibe in and of itself. The one thing that is different about shopping at a boneyard as you guys can see behind me is you do have to measure everything so we have a tape measure <laughs> Mark does I have all of my measurements and we're gonna literally be measuring each slab that we like to see if there is enough material to do what we need to do. I am at the house to look at the sample and see what I think of it against the wall color. I went with a warm white in this space. I didn't want a bunch of like cold tones going on, so I wanted to make sure that the countertops I picked were more in that warm category and not in the cool tone category. You guys have heard me, if you've been with me for a while, talk about tones and undertones when it comes to paint colors, um, you know, different things like that. So I absolutely love the way that this sample looks with the wall color. I think it's beautiful. It's not pulling, making the walls look like really yellow or anything. Thing. I just that was like the main thing I was concerned about as I did not want the wall color to look yellow with the countertops there are a couple more colors of quartz countertops that I am interested in I'm going to try to hunt them down I saw samples of them at hard rock tile and stone when I was there paying for cabinets and I just have to hunt down where they are located in the valley so I'm gonna try to do that and maybe I can still go see them just to take a look and get some samples if I can, because I really fell in love with them. But I do really love this one too, but I am interested to see like how those ones might look with the wall color as well. But so far, if I can't find those, I think I have an excellent choice on my hands that I'm so excited about. It's the next day and we are headed to go look at another countertop. We actually have two that we're looking for today. I called around all morning and most of yesterday afternoon trying to find um, 
where these countertops were, but I'm really excited to see what they have. The place we're going to right now, um, they are called Spellman Hardwoods. They're located in Phoenix. I had to set up an appointment to come and look at their warehouse. I'm officially more confused than ever because now I have three here that I love when I only came in to see one. Shoot, <laughs> they're so good. That was such a special experience. It was really cool. It's like, basically like we got a private tour. We literally did. They basically let us walk through the warehouse and look at like basically everything. We only showed you guys the, um, the countertops, but like, they let us look at everything, and the guy, Stan, was so cool. A, he's got he, the same name as my dad. Well, <laughs> so B, he's automatically cool. But B, the, he like, we asked questions, and he knew the answer, and he was telling us everything we wanted to know. It wasn't rushed. He was so knowledgeable. It was so cool. It was like a private designer tour. It really was. Like, I cannot believe... I look. I don't. I feel like I don't even know. Spellman Hardwoods. That was. That really was cool. an amazing, amazing experience. And now, um, I'll show you guys when I get um, back to the house all the different samples that I got, so we can pick one out and hopefully they gave narrow us, it down. Like, the big showroom. Yeah, samples. these samples are massive. Not the little tiny squares. They gave no. us like the showroom, what you would put on a shelf at a showroom. Yeah, show it was so cool. So um, anyway, we just got to. Architectural Surfaces, which is in Scottsdale, Arizona. If you guys are local, we are going to go in and see what they can, what they have. There was one, there's one in particular, a specific slab called Volcano by Pentel Quartz. So, um, I'm hoping we can go in. They said they had it. Like I said, I had to call around all over <laughs> to try to find this. And you know what? It's so amazing. Like when you're calling places and you tell them, hey, this is what I'm looking for. And they're like, nope, we don't have it. Nope, we don't have it. And then you get that one really nice person that goes, oh, if you're looking for pentacle quartz, call this place. And it's like, thank you. Thank you. You know, <laughs> thank you for good customer service. So let's go in and see what we can find. One is really cool, huh? You like yeah, because you've got the this is still quartz, yes. so it's manufactured, right? But they've found a way to put in like the 3D layered stone veining, yeah, which is hard Beautiful. to get outside of just regular granite or quartzite. Right. So, when you're shopping for countertops, one of the things that you'll notice is obviously the price point differences between granite, quartz, um, quartzite, um, all those synthetic ones. And what you get with quartz, right, is quartz is poured, it's manufactured. So you get consistency with it, but usually it's very hard to make a quartz that looks 3D or has depth to it, right? Whereas when you get quartzite, which is a natural stone, it has a depth to it. So I don't know if it'll read it up on camera, but it feels like those crystals go in deep. Like if you broke this off, you would see layers of different crystals, it'd be all shiny. Whereas if you broke this off, it'd look like a clean piece of chalk because <laughs> it's all manufactured and they pour it a certain way. So that's kind of what you have to look at and think about when you're making a kitchen or designing a kitchen or designing a space is, well, what do I want to feel? Do I want to feel consistency with the rest of the house or am I looking for a statement piece that has depth and contrast and a 3D animation to it, basically? How do you know if it's the right countertop for you? Well, you ask it. Are you the right countertop for me? <laughs> I don't think Lucero is it. It said no. Let's just take a minute to just admire. Oh, there's one over here that's my 1,000. That's your 1,000? Oh my gosh, 1,000? This is my 1,000. It's Kilimanjaro and it's quartzite. And it's so amazing. Cause you know what it gives me a reading of? is petrified wood. It almost looks like a slab of petrified wood. And I think that's so cool. It's just so layered. I think this is like star of the show. Here's my 1,000 mark. This is I can see why. insane. Got just such a depth. Of course, it's marble. It's like you could dive into the crystals. Right. You know, right. it's just an ocean of white crystal. Wow! 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 Look at it. We are back at the house. This is the fun part where you finally get to see all of the selections that you made up against the wall, next to the cabinets, in the space itself. I highly recommend 
getting as much samples as you possibly can and taking them home and looking at them in the space. If you have the ability to, look at them throughout the day in the space. Look at them in the different you know, lighting that comes throughout the home You know, at different hours during the day. Really take your time to make this choice because it's a tough one to make and it's a very, very expensive one to make. So I got all of our samples home. Um, it was so great. The place, the Spelman Hardwoods that we went to, they gave us these giant, giant samples. How is this supposed to tell you <laughs> what a slab actually looks like? This is so misleading, but at least you kind of get the color idea, I guess. So something that I really wanted in this space in particular, um, because I went with a really warm white color on the walls, this is um, Greek Villa by Sherwin Williams. And I love this color, it's beautiful, and it's a very, very warm white. So I wanted to make sure when I chose the countertop in this space that it also reflected a warm tone. Because if I were to take something that is more on the white side, um, it's gonna make the walls actually look more yellow or more tan than they actually are. Whereas if we take something that is a deeper color, has a deeper um, tone to it, more of that tan, kind of gray undertone is gonna help the walls to actually reflect more of a white color instead of that more yellow tone. Um, that is true for the cabinets as well. I wanted to make sure that the you know the cabinetry is bright white, and so I wanted to make sure that something I put next to it wasn't gonna make them kind of look you know, a different color as well. We do have a winner here, and I'm excited to tell you guys which one it is. I wonder if I should make the white. Should I make the weight? No, I won't be that mean. <laughs> Our winner, this is actually the one that I went in to look for. This was Phoenix Sky. I think this is absolutely stunning. It was very clear in all of my selections of the style that I was being drawn towards. Um, it was really, really nice. The guy that we met with there, he called them lacy. So they kind of have this extra little bit of veining that goes throughout the countertop. And it's very white, it almost is, looks like clouds. It, I think it looks like clouds. That's what it reminds me of. And that's, oh, yeah, what, that's I was, what we were calling Yeah, we were he, calling I was calling like cloud clouds. Or, he was like, oh yeah, like, he's like, I typically call it lacy, but he's like, clouds, that, that makes a lot of sense. So anyway, that is what I was really being drawn towards. And so our winner here is actually the Calcutta Oro. This is by Vidara. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. The great news is that I fell in love with this one and our fabricator also has this um, a whole slab of it in his boneyard. So the whole house is gonna have matching countertops. I feel like it's gonna be so perfect and so beautiful. I hope that you guys have learned so much from this video. There's so much to know about countertop shopping and just selecting your material. And I feel like it just feels a little bit intimidating. So I hope I answered some of your questions today. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the next video. Bye.